Hey everybody, um, today I just want to do a video um, per request on how to set up a animation ring in LabVIEW using pictures. Um, so just starting off, I just have a little demo to kind of show what this looks like. So this is a picture ring iterating through a series of images. Um, uh, yeah, um, and then basically I have a certain amount of weight. I can change that weight and it changes the you know speed of the uh, animation. Um, yeah, so that's the basic concept. I'm gonna walk through how you can set something like this up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, close out of this and let's open up a blank VI. Um, so first off, you're gonna want to find a series of images. So there's um, you can search online for like image series. Um, this is honestly the hardest part of the whole process is just finding the right images and a good series. Um, and a lot of times you'll find a single like image. So it could be like a PNG that has the series of images all on that one image. So you got to go break it apart into a bunch of little other images um, or get a GIF and break the GIF apart into images. So yeah, the hardest part, like I said, is just finding the image to use. Um, once we have the image, um, we're going to want to drop down a picture ring control. So there are different um, styles, so you can find the one that you like. Just make sure there's uh, both text rings and picture rings. Make sure you select the picture ring. Um, so here we have our picture ring. Um, I'm going to change it to an indicator. Um, so yeah, so here I have uh, these images. Um, so this is a relatively simple one. There's just six frames. Um, you could have a lot more than that as well. Um, but yeah, the easiest thing to do is just take that image and just drop it into your picture ring. Um, and it's gonna drop in the image at its current size. Um, so that's the, the fastest way. Then to add the next image, if I right click on this picture ring, and just do add item after, I can add the next image. And then I can do that for all of the rest of the images. And the last one. Okay, so now we've got our picture ring set up with all of the images, so I can click on it and I can see all of the images. Um, now we just need to add a little bit of code on the block diagram um, to uh, make this automatically iterate through um, all of these uh, images. So, um, I'm gonna change that to views icon. So I'm just going to drop a while loop down and there's different ways you can do this. Um, I'm gonna show you what I think personally is the simplest way to do it. Um, so we're going to use this quotient and remainder function. Um, and if you drop that down, and then we are going to divide by um, the number of frames. So in our case, this is six. Um, but yeah, if you had 20 frames, then you can use 20 frames. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the remainder out and wire that into our picture ring. Um, so that's basically just gonna be taking the iteration count and dividing by our number of frames and then outputting the remainder. So that's basically gonna handle rollovers for us. Um, you can't, I mean, you could, and I can actually show you this, but uh, if you just wired the iteration count into the picture ring directly, um, it would sequence through all of your images and then it would stay on the last image forever. Um, because now your increment is going you know, seven, eight, nine, 10, and you don't have pictures for those, so it just stays on the last one. Uh, it's just you know, coercing that value down for you. Um, but if you use the remainder, um, it's just gonna iterate through however many frames are in your picture ring. Um, then we just need to add some sort of stop condition. Um, and we're gonna want to add a wait function. So 
um, you know, you can control, you can either have a constant that defines the wait time or you can make that a control that is, you know, adjustable. But once you have that, you can just run that and you now have animation on your uh, front panel in LabVIEW. So really pretty simple. Um, the biggest caveat I think is if you have a ton of images to load, it can take quite a bit of time to take each image and put it in. And the other hard thing is just finding the series of images to use. But once you found a good image, you know, it's really not that hard, maybe a little time consuming to just load a bunch in. It'd be cool if there was a programmatic way to load a series of images into a picture ring. But as of right now, that feature doesn't exist. Um, but yeah, pretty simple, you know, very little programming. Um, and yeah, you can get some really cool animations on your front panels this way. So that would be how you can create animations on a LabVIEW front panel using picture rings. Thanks for watching. Canon Controls is your gateway to mastering LabVIEW. Dive into programming for data acquisition, industrial communications, and manufacturing automation. Explore how to enhance your projects with cybersecurity best practices. Join the journey to elevate your skills and secure your systems with every episode.